Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks for watching that EO Action Mobile video today. Now this was a really interesting one though. I like this one. This lovely young man came through. You can see this wax is dry as a bone. Uh, has been putting a little bit of olive oil in here. Very deep wax. Patient may experience a lot of discomfort in both ears. Uh, not so much hearing issue, but just lots of earache pain, especially when you have baths or showers. So you can see I'm going to go really gently with this piece of wax. I'm trying to hold on to this central section and what you'll notice what I've done first of all is throw a lot of olive oil in here get as much olive oil in here as we possibly can because when we do get this piece of wax moving it's going to slide across that skin a lot easier now we do remove a foreign body on, in uh, in this particular one as well now I did put a post on this in the community tab uh, on uh, yesterday on Tuesday uh, lots of really good guesses on there now I will tell you what that is at the end of the video I'll also show you in a bit more detail what came out as well so you can see I'm really struggling here because the wax has dropped dried into this particular shape. It's dried into the recess and up to the very top of the ear canal as well. Very difficult to get hold of and pull out. But we've managed to hold on to that central section there. Now we're trying to roll this forward. It's not really budging. So this is perfect for the Rosen insert of this little tiny gap here. Let's see if we can just get into that small little nook and cranny there. Get around the back of this plug of wax. There we go. Just drop behind it and see if we can roll this forwards. There we are coming away really nicely. There we go, you can see it was so solid, it just stayed in one big, really hard piece there. And uh, just gonna tidy up this little bit of dry skin around, around the outside edge as well. We do show you what we removed uh, afterwards. I'll put it onto the, uh, onto the rulers for you later on so you can see exactly what does come out. So I'm just trying to remove this little bit of dry skin. Now that's one thing this particular patient did have was a lot of dryness to the ear canal walls. Now we talk about uh, producing an oil on the outer part of the ear canal which softens the wax up. This patient is obviously not producing a tremendous amount. So this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like after. So you can see quite a big difference there. But I have advised this patient to use a little bit of olive oil just to keep that ear canal wall skin really nice and healthy. Now when we look at this second ear, you can see very different, very humid ear canal, this one. Now this is the ear canal we took the foreign body out of. Now I'd be interested to see whether you can spot when this foreign body comes out, because I've got to be honest, when I took this away, I didn't see it first of all. It wasn't until I got the wax on the paper and started to notice something was glinting in the background that I thought, ah, oh, there is something in there. But we can see a similar story to the other side. So a very dry kind of wax on the outside edge and very hard dry wax, very deep in the canal. Now this is the one that the patient was experiencing a lot more discomfort with. Um, so we're going very carefully here. Now I did see this, but there's actually a young man. So uh, you know, I was always really cautious when you see younger patients as well. Uh, but we're gonna get rid of some of this dry skin. I've got to do that first before I can get onto that central plug. So I'm taking some of the bigger pieces away. I'm going to go straight in with the Rosen insert. Now, the, the benefit here is we've seen what it was like on the one side. So we're just aiming for this little gap at the top. And I want to see if this is one big piece we can do very similar to what we did on the other side and roll this forward. Unfortunately, this is actually lots of pieces of wax all layered one over the top of the other, all very dry. So I'm actually going to get a, a grip on a small piece there. So let's take that away first of all. There we are, I would say it's a small piece, it's actually quite big in relation to the size of the ear canal. And then, okay, you can see a little gap here, I'm thinking, well, is this a ledge that I can work with here? Can we get this behind? But you can see as soon as the uh, Rosen inserter goes in, this wax just almost crumbles. Now this can be a, a, for a couple of different reasons. So in this case, it's because lots of these little bits of dry skin have all kind of plugged together and the wax has bound all those pieces together as well. So you end up with a very crumbly, almost granular uh, type, of, uh, type of wax coming through. So I'm gonna use the suction just to take some of the looser pieces off because I could spend ages with a Rosen insert, you know, testing and probing lots of little parts of that wax plug. We don't want to make it uncomfortable for the patient. It's deep in there already. And if we can use the suction to pick off some of the smaller, looser pieces, then what we're left with then is the much harder sections. So you can see me lifting just at the base here. I'm going to get rid of that bit of dry skin now as well. But getting rid of some of these looser sections, what you're left with is a very hard piece that you could then use the Rosen inserter on just to exploit that a little bit and to use it against itself. So we're just taking from the sides now, pulling in from the side. There we go. Another big piece coming away. Have you seen that foreign body yet? Though I've gone back over this video a couple of times and I, I can't see it. So I'll be interested at when you guys can see it as well. I know you guys are gonna rewatch this video and have a look again, but I haven't seen it so far. 
uh, there we are. Now we can see we've got this, we've got that harder plug we were talking about now. So we've got rid of some of the looser bits on the outside edge. We've got that much, much harder plug deeper in the canal here. Trying to work on the outside edge. Difficult one to get hold of here. It's really dried into that shape of the canal. So a very hard one to do. I'm trying to bring it out from that deeper section. That deeper section is really sensitive. And if we're gonna go uh, working on this with a manual tool, I wanna to bring it down the canal to the less sensitive part of the ear canal before we start doing that. This patient's already, bless him, been suffering so much with, with ear pain and discomfort. I don't wanna exacerbate that at all. So I was just going over the top, we've got a good gap here. We could use the Rosen inserter here if you wanted to as well. Uh, well, uh, no, Rosen, sorry, St. Bart's Hockey, got the Rosen insert in. But because we already had the Rosen insert, it's just easier to use that. But Okay, now I'll give you a hint. This is actually the piece of wax that the foreign body was embedded into. So, uh, see if you can spot it. Anything? You can, see, you can see it is tough as old boots. It does not want to come out of that ear canal. It's really happy in there. There we go, let's draw this forward. So that's all I can see at the moment, it's just lots and lots of wax. Uh, it varies in color. Now, oh, possibly just underneath, there was a slightly lighter sheen to it. You might have to rewind that to have a little look at it. Um, but that was the plug that contained that foreign body. Let's go back in now and let's get rid of this little bit of dry skin right here at the entrance. Patient did really, really well. Now what we will see, I'll point this out to you now when we go back in. Now there's a piece of dry skin that's actually hardened and stuck to the eardrum. I'll point it out with an arrow in a second for you. Uh, there's also a little bit of wax that's tucked. You can't really see it here, but watch as we pull this section, what's hiding up in the top corner up here. Oh, just tidying up, sorry, first of all, this bottom section. You can see the dryness there. Now with that piece of dry skin we were talking about that's actually connected to the eardrum, if you pulled on that, uh, that would be really uncomfortable for the patient. And because it's dried so firmly into place like the rest of this wax, you run the risk of actually tearing the skin of the eardrum. So what I've told the patient to do with that particular section, I will point out a bit, is to use some olive oil for about a week and we'll get them back in. When that's softened up, it's gonna be much safer to take away. And the patient's already sat through a lot of this already. So you can see we're just pulling this section that was hiding up in the top corner there. Let's draw this down. I'm just unsticking it from the canal wall there and then bringing this section forwards. There we go, out that comes. Brilliant. Lovely, so there we go. You can see that piece has come away. I'll point out that section for you now, which is uh, just there. You can see that's actually coming off the canal wall and connected physically to the eardrum itself. Now, I'm gonna soften that for a week and take it out. Now, we're all about patient comfort here, so I much prefer to do that than try and run the risk of doing any damage to the eardrum. So this is what we removed. Now, that foreign body is to the right-hand side. It was embedded in one of the larger pieces of wax. Can you see it there glinting? I'm gonna lift it up now, which is what I did on the, uh, on the video the other day. That was actually a piece of metal. Now when you look at it, you can actually almost see it's been folded over. So I couldn't tell, it was, it was absolutely solid. Now first of all, I thought it was a piece of tin foil uh, because it looks like the foil that's been folded over, but it was so solid, there was no giving it. That's a real angular and sharp piece of metal that the patient had in here. No idea how that got, how they, that, uh, that got in there. The only thing I could think of is they do wear uh, in-ear headphones or whether a piece had broken off, but I'm not too sure about that. It looks a wrong kind of shape for that kind of stuff. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I wonder whether you did spot that foreign body as it was coming out. I certainly couldn't see it. I've gone back over the videos a couple of times, uh, but if you did, let me know in the comment section below. I shall see you again on Friday, guys. So as always, take care of your ears, take care of yourselves, and take care of one another, and we'll see you in Friday's video. Bye, everyone.